Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to derive equations of motion. There are two methods to derive equations of motion. First, graphical method and second, direct method or formula based method. In this video, I am going to discuss the graphical method. To learn how to derive equations of motion using direct method or the formula based method, check the link in the description below. We need to make an assumption while deriving these equations of motion that object is moving with uniform acceleration. Now since it is graphical method, we need to plot a graph, graph of velocity versus time. So as you can see here velocity is on y axis and time is on x axis. An object has some initial velocity u. Okay, initial velocity of the object is u and the final velocity of the object is v. An object takes time t to cover certain distance. So object takes time t to reach to velocity v from initial velocity u. Now since it is velocity versus time graph, we can find out the slope of the graph and slope of velocity time graph gives us acceleration. So acceleration is equal to slope that is equal to BD upon DA. BD, BD is BD is equal to BC minus DC upon DA. BC is equal to V, DC is equal to U upon DA is equal to T. So on rearranging these terms we get AT is equal to V minus U and hence V is equal to U plus AT. This is equation number 1. Now since it is velocity versus time graph, from the graph we can also find out what is the area and the area gives us displacement. So to calculate the displacement or rather total displacement, we can find out what is the area under the graph. So to find out the area under the graph, we need to find out area of trapezium. Area of trapezium O, A, B, C. The formula to find out area of trapezium is area of trapezium can be calculated using the formula half into sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance between these two parallel sides. So using this fact of area of trapezium, we can say displacement is equal to half into half into sum of parallel sides that are OA and BC into perpendicular distance between them that is OC is equal to half into OA is U, BC is V and OC is T. Alright, so S is equal to half into U plus V into we can also write this as S is equal to half into V plus U into T. And let us label this as equation number A. Using this equation A, we will derive second as well as third equation. So S is equal to half into V plus U into T. Now let us substitute v is equal to u plus a t in this equation number a. s is equal to half into in place of v we can write u plus a t. 1 u is already there in, inside the bracket and outside the bracket it is t. So s is equal to 2 u plus a t by 2 into t. So we get S is equal to 2UT plus AT square by 2 and hence S is equal to UT plus half AT square. 
this is our equation number 2. Now once again using the equation A that is S is equal to half into V plus U into T. This time I will replace the T. Okay, so T is equal to V minus U upon A. So substitute substitute the value of T in equation A we get S is equal to V plus U by 2 and instead of T we can write V minus U upon A. We know that A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. Using this particular identity we can say S is equal to V square minus U square upon 2A and on rearranging this we get 2AS is equal to V square minus U square and hence V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. This is equation number 3. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.